What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to more Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we finally finished with Sylphco. Holy crap. People should be flocking back to the south right now. Hey, uh, that, oh, did the Team Rocket disappear from here? That'd be neat. Where's this go? I have no idea where this goes. Oh, yeah, never mind. We were here before. Okay, yeah, so... Off screen, I went to the store. I sold some items. I grabbed some items out. Um, one of... Actually, one of them being... Booted up a TM. Okay, now... Okay, well, Ice Beam's pretty great. I was gonna teach it to... Gyarados. Which, I did have a name for Gyarados, but I forget what it was now. Oh, okay, I thought I said no, not able for a second. I was like, what? But I don't remember what my name for Gyarados was gonna be, so that's kind of an issue. Which should I forget? Probably Tackle, right? Yeah, let's go Tackle. One, two, and poof! Okay, so Ice Beam has 100 power, I believe, and 100% accuracy. It also has a 10% chance of freezing a Pokemon, which isn't too high, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Okay, so we're going to start off this episode by exploring this town, since we never really did take a good look at it. We found Mr. Psychic's house, but that was about it. Most of these houses you can't even go into, so that should probably make things make exploring pretty quick. What do you have to say, sir? Yeah, Team Rocket is gone! It's safe to go out again. Woo! Yeah, out of your houses that have zero doors in them. Great. Is the music in the same in here? Let's take a look. Yep, it's the same. It's the same very ominous music for some reason. I don't know. So yeah, in this episode, all I have planned for sure is exploring the town, and I'm also getting Mr. Mime finally. Oh yeah, I did not finish even showing you guys what I was going to do here. Uh, what's this? Wait, that's Mega... Oh, why did I take out Mega Dream? I don't freaking know. I probably misclicked it. Uh, what's this? Double Edge! Yes, this is actually what I wanted. Hmm, actually, who should I teach this to? You know what? I did know I want to teach someone this, but I wasn't entirely sure who. One second. Okay, so... It looks like only Kiwi could learn this and, and have Stab with it. Probably every Pokemon besides, like, two or three, actually, it's more than that, can learn this. Um... Double Edge is essentially an upgrade version of Takedown. It has like 100 power and 100% accuracy, but since Stab, or since Kiwi has Stab with this move, it should do even more damage. So that should be pretty great. There's also another move. I will, like, um, there's another move in my inventory here. What is it? Uh. Ba -ba 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 29. What's that? That's. Oh, that's Psychic, actually. That will be taught to Mr. Mime. Oh, that's Mega Drain. Right, right, right. Okay, so that's it. Um, is this- this might actually might already be it for this town. There doesn't seem to be much here, to be honest. And after we're done here, we have a long trek back to Route 2, I think. Let's look at find a better way to get there. I don't really remember how to get there. Yeah, people should indeed be flocking. What if we already went this way? Yeah, we already did. Okay. We haven't really gone up here yet. What's it? Oh- OH, WE HAVE THE GYM STILL! I completely forgot we had a gym here. There was a Team Rocket person standing in front of the gym door, but now he's gone. I saw a Rocket Boss escaping Sylph's building! Yeah, I bet you did. Lying liar pants on fire. Okay, he's probably not lying, actually. What do you have to say, you freaking nerd? He made Team Rocket all alone? That's amazing! <laughs> yeah, I really- they should have been able to take me out pretty easily, actually. Considering I'm a child and they're gangsters. I don't even know. Okay. We have to- Oh, god dang it! Come full- I don't- I meant to talk to you. Thank you for waiting! I hope to see you soon! Hey! Don't look at my letter! <laughs> I was given a PP up as a gift. It's used for increasing the PP of techniques. Yep. The copycat is cute. I'm getting her a polka doll. Okay. The copycat, hey? Right. I totally know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, Alright. Oh god. You see, see, once you go on the bike, it's hard to walk because it feels so much slower. Yay! Why can I just run? They should have really just given us the ability to run this game. Wait, did I, yeah, I already talked to this guy. Yeah. Alright, what's the sign say? Sarfan City, Shining Golden Land of Commerce. Yeah. Alright, let's inside this house. Looks like a Chansey. My daughter is so self centered. She only has a few friends. Oh, well, that sucks. Sounds like my sister. <laughs> Um, what's this say? Oh, I can't even click on the TV, that's weird. My daughter likes to mimic people. Mimic- Mimistry has earned her the nickname Copycat around here. Oh! That sounds interesting. This is a rare Pokemon, huh? It's only a doll. 
Okay then. This is a rare Pokemon. It's only a doll. Will that doll just move by itself? So someone explain that to me. My secrets. Skill, mimicry, hobby, collecting dolls. Favorite Pokemon? Clefairy. Alrighty then. This is a rare Pokemon. Huh? That's only a doll. This looks like this kind of looks like my house actually. Uh, she copycatting my house. Mirror move on the wall. Who is the first one of all? It's a me. Yay, happiest Pikachu ever. Hi! Do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm? Quit mimicking? That's weird. Ash doesn't normally talk, does he? But that's my favorite hobby. Oh, I thought she was maybe gonna teach me copycat or something. That's weird. This house was really well put together, though. Considering the rest of the houses. <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird. Ash talked there! What the heck, man? That's strange. Okay, I already read that sign. I was about to read it again. <gasps> Glad you guys stopped me. What the heck is this place? Wait a minute. Why did I get the feeling... Mr. Mime is up here? <gasps> is that the... Wait, where the heck am I? I don't even know. I'm so confused. Oh, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, we gotta go back down Cycling Road still. Let's take a look at our map here. I didn't mean to do this in this episode. No, okay. Route 2 is like all the way over here. Yeah. That's weird. Okay. This place is really confusing. Well, if we could... If this is... Is this the guy who... Yeah, this is the guy who names my Pokemon. If Is he? Or is he the... He might be the daycare. I don't remember. Who are you? Oh, okay, he's a dang The guy who renames Pokemon is in Lavender, right? I believe so. Okay, well, that was an interesting de detour. Yay, go back through. There's a lot of these, like, checkpoints here. That's weird. Okay, well, now we've checked... Oh, come on. Checked everywhere. Have we checked everywhere? I think we have. There was a house near that nerd guy that... Did I check that? I probably did. Okay, well, let's go to the gym, shall we? Yeah, we have had to check it. Alright. I can't stand walking <laughs> slow now. <coughs> <coughs> I've been doing that a lot lately. I'll start talking, breathing in, and then I'll like inhale the saliva that's in my mouth and which will cause me to choke. I should really learn how to talk. Okay, there's two gyms here. What's this sign say? Fighting Dojo. Uh, that sounds cool. Hello. Ah, uh, bring it on. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! He! I'm trespassing in our fighting dojo! Oh, no, I'm not. I should really... You know what? Well, I was gonna say, this would be the perfect place for Mr. Mine, but he's gonna be so underleveled that... Not really. My chop. I will chop your face off. Should I go get him right now? Maybe I should go get him right now. Just journey off to each... Because I forgot there was a gym here. We should have Ice Beam. Bam! That's pretty cool. So, te... Like, um... Theoretically... Once every 10 moves, we should see, see Pokemon Frozen. And Frozen, in this generation, there's literally no way to escape it. You just Pokemon just eventually dies. Right? There's, you can't heal it, you can't do anything. Black Ball, this guy's a Black Ball, I just realized. It's a Mankey! Hello, Mankey! Oops. For some reason, I thought the top move was Ice Beam, but nope. Tis not. Tis not, indeed. Alright. Yeah, you attack. Oh, I didn't mean to use it again, but oh well. Ah, it should kill him either way. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. All right. So I was looking up Mr. Mime moves, and I thought there was a TM for hypnosis, but apparently there isn't. So that really sucks because I was like, oh, I'm gonna teach Mr. Mime hypnosis. Um, and Dream Eater, so we could put them to sleep and then use Dream Eater on them. But no, there's only a move for G. Or there's a t I have the TM for G Meter, but apparently there's nothing for Hypnosis, which is really sucky, actually. And we defeated my Black Belt. Oof! I give up. Yeah, you better. You know what? I'm gonna go get Mr. Mime. I'll. I have no idea how to get the route to, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'll see you guys in a few minutes, half hours, years. I don't know. Wait, what? I'm gonna have to maybe even post commentate over that. I just got HMO2. So, I 
guess this is not the way I'm supposed to go? No, I'm not! Well, that's weird. Okay. So I'm just trying to figure out how the heck to get back to Route 2. There's a bike path right there. There's also an area we could go behind, which is over here, and there's this guy over here that says, How'd you get it? Good effort. How I, I think I showed him before, though. I remember that guy. I do remember that guy. Um, I just cut the bush right here. I thought, oh, this is where I go to get back to Route 2. But no, I don't think I'm even close at all. Um, yeah, see, here's the Route 2, or here's the bike path right there. Alright. Well, crap. Um, I'm still figuring out. I'm lost. I'm in solid on right now. <laughs> this is nowhere near. Isn't there... I believe there's an underground path in here somewhere, isn't there? I thought there was. I don't freaking know. I don't know. I'll keep looking. Okay, I'm back. And I didn't even check out HMO2. I could take fly? Can I use fly? Oh, who the Gyros can't learn it? He's a he's half flying though. Okay then. Uh what's does Kiwi have anything I wanna give? To for fly to to go to the an older move. Let's take a look. I want to keep. Holy crap! I'm, I'm always scared. I'm gonna like. Ah. Let's get rid of double edge now. I'm just kidding. Whirlwind. Oh yeah, definitely whirlwind. So I kept getting mixed up between whirlwind and um, razor wind. All right. Uh, we now have, can we use it? I did not realize we learned fly like that. Cause I was I was seriously. Oh my god, we can. Oh my god. Are you serious? I just spent like 30 minutes going down paths that I had no idea if they would lead me to Route 2 because I want to get freaking Mr. Mime and I couldn't freaking figure out this stupid crap. I was like, ah, I was just about to give up and then I was like, oh yeah, I have HMO2. What's that again? And I turn out to be freaking fly and I go freaking over here. That, oh my, I'm so dumb. Good lord. I seriously can't believe I just- oh my god. Why did I just check that out to begin with? I completely forgot I got like an HM and not a TM. Cause in my mind I was like, oh I just got a TM, whatever. Uh, now where the- actually, is it up here maybe? Cause yeah, in my mind I was like, oh okay, it's a TM. But I was like, wait a minute, just like now. I was like, wait a minute. That wasn't a TM I got, it was an HM. So I'm like, ah, let's see what I got. But even then, like, I think the cross- The thought crossed my mind that, oh yeah, it's a TM. And I was like, maybe it's fly, but I was like, ah, uh, there's no way I could use that yet. But yep, I can. Okay, now without further ado. Wait, is it not this guy? Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Thanks, guy. Ah, uh, there we go. I do have a Clefairy, right? This is a Clefairy, right? Okay, connect the cable like so. Okay, I've never seen this before. Bye! Enjoy teleport and flash, cause I kind of wish I had that actually. Clefairy went to trainer. Now give me my freaking Mr. Mime. Trainer waves us when Mr. Mime is transformed or er, transferred. Yay, Mr. Mime! Awesome. Many happies are within me. Take good care of Mr. Mom. Oh, I will. Kind of. I don't really know. Since I th there's no hypnosis and Mr. Mom doesn't learn that. Hey, thanks. There's no TM for hypnosis and Mr. Mom doesn't naturally learn hypnosis. That might suck a bit, but yeah, we'll figure it out. Alright, boo it up TM. It contains psychic. Teach psychic to a Pokemon? Heck yes. Miles. His name is Miles? Uh, oh, okay. Oh, that, I can't rename him. That sucks. This is my old Mr. Mime greats. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't used him yet. He's probably not. That really sucks. Actually, we can't. I was gonna name him Mima Mia, like you know, Mama Mia, but Mima Mia. Get it? Yeah, I, I thought it was pretty great. <laughs> oh, I don't think we'd even change nicknames, can we? I'm pretty sure you cannot. Saffron, right? That's where I want to go. I think so. I do declare, mm, yeah, do. yeah, okay, this is where I want to go, okay, let's get back on the bike. Oh, I'm sad now, I was like, yes, I can't wait. Oh, many disappointments have been had today. First off, I can't learn hypnosis for him, 
Looks like I said, he can't learn the TM, and he doesn't learn it naturally, so that sucks. And second off, I don't even get the name of my genius name idea! God dang it, I'm like 90% sure, um, when a Pokemon is ni uh, nicknamed by someone, you can't nickname it yourself. Those, the Prime Fighters across the land train here. Wow, that's so cool. Tell me more. Alright, let's bring Miles up to the front here. There we go. And like, you know, we won't, won't be able to really use them, but you know. I hear you good! Show me your moves! Oh, you. He didn't even sh say the moves part, but I just assumed you. You should've. You definitely should've. Alright. Mile level 9. This is gonna suck leveling him up. Confusion, Barrier, and Psychic. Oh, I didn't know he came with Confusion. I knew he came with Barrier. Huh, okay, cool. So, I guess we're just gonna go to Gyarados. <laughs> and we're gonna have to level him up so very slowly. Maybe I'll have to do this like him off screen and just level him up in some tall grass or something because seriously it's gonna take forever for him to learn or get up to my level I should get him at least like level 25 ish before you know using him out actually using him because yeah there's no way he's gonna be able to stand up to any of these at level 9 that'd be pretty fantastic if he could though I wish I could use Haunter but he just sucks he just sucks too much well let's go to level 10 oh yeah dude oh, I was hoping he'd grow like level 11 too. That would be really cool, bro, but no, of course not. Ah, of course not. Maybe in this game, Pokemon can't go up two levels. Because I know in other Pokemon games, if you, like, get a level 5 Pokemon or something, and then you, like, bring it out to battle, it'll sometimes go up to, like, level 6, or, like, go up two or three levels in every Pokemon you fight. But I've never seen that happen yet in this game, so maybe what happens is it goes up a level up into the part where there's, like, it needs one experience to the next level. Which will kind of suck, but you know, ah, well, what can he do? What can he do? There we go. Frozen solid! And he's frozen solid and he literally can't do anything anymore, so sucks to be him. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised we got our, our free status ailment so quickly. Normally, I don't really see that too often. My wow, I was good to level 12. Wait a minute! Wasn't he level 5? No, he's level 9. Oh, he is going up more than one level, it's just not saying it. Judge! One point! What? Ah, oh, I get it. One point as in one point taken off. Nothing tough fighting frightens me. I break boulders for training. Oh, too bad it's Pokemon fighting and not, you know, people fighting. Because that would be pretty fantastic if, like, you know, it was actually us fight. Oh, who's this going to be? Primeape. It's going to be super... D oh, level 36. Yeah, that's a vast improvement from the other ones I've been fighting. I keep bumping my mic. I need to stop doing that. All right, he's all already level 12. That's pretty good. Would I get him at? Was it level 10? Maybe it was level 10. I thought it was a little 5 for a second, but no, that doesn't really make much sense, does it? Stop your fury swipes. Hit two times. I guess that's... Oh, yeah. That's like... Wait. Fury attack. I guess that would be like fury attack, right? Yeah, that sounds about right, sucker. Alright, uh, yeah, why not? Just use it again. <laughs> ah. There we go. Focus energy. Stop focusing your energy. I'm glad we finally got Mr. Mime. Seriously, I'm, I'm happy about that. I've been dreading going, find, figuring out how to get to him for a long time. And seriously, I spent, like I said, I went like every direction I could and I was like, yeah, it's not worth I would have had to go through a cave with Flash again. It's like that will not sound like. Yeah, see, he was level 12, now I went to level 14. Okay, so he's going up more than level one time. Yo, stump fingers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that frightens us is psychic power. Yeah, too bad my psychic Pokemon sucks. Master's a pro fighter. Alright, hello. Hello. Hooah! Take your shoes off. Nah. I ain't training in your freaking dojo, bro, yo. Because I'm bro, yo. I'm the greatest rapper ever. And the weather, whether, whether you think you're clever or not, you want my sweater? I'm hot. Sorry. I just, I'm just like freaking Bo Burnham, okay? I remember that song. Well, I don't know if I heard it when it first came out, but I heard it relatively soon when it first came out. That was like old YouTube times, like 2007-ish. Man, good times, good times. You know, I made this comment on a video a little while ago. Um, well, actually, I was gonna say, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the RuneScape community on YouTube, and it's like, let's, let's face it, no one watching my videos is. <laughs> But there was a video, um, Girl Score Goes to School. Girl Score was like a kind of famous RuneScape player. Actually, he is a famous RuneScape player. Who filmed an IRL video, in real life video, of him going to school. And pretty much just being an asshole and destroying stuff. 
Well, it wasn't really that bad. He would, like, go to the library and push books out of the shelves, and he would, like, mess around with kids. Not seriously, like, punch them in the face, but he would, like, push them around and joke with them. But, um, he- this was, like, seven years ago when he posted his reaction video to watching it again after, like, years of not watching it. And he pretty much just, like, stated, like, how did anybody watch this? It's so childish and immature. And, like, meanwhile, his video got, like, 170,000 views. And for, like, 2007, that was a big, big deal. And, um, yeah. I don't know. And then, like, he made, like, everyone, like, the comments said, like, kind of the YouTube community has grown up a lot. Which is true. It's very true, actually. And it's interesting. And I don't know. I, I kind of like that. It's like, you know, the general audience of the. Oh, crap. I forgot to switch up to Mr. Mime. The general audience of the internet has been growing up since, like, you know, 2007, when, like, I want to say, like, the 2005, 2004, 2005 is when the internet really started to blow up and, like, everyone started to grab it, and, like, it's crazy. I wonder at, when, at what point will the internet peak and will, like, there ever be a downfall to the internet? Like, uh, I give up. Will there ever be anything above the internet? Like, if you wait till we see our mouth, if, like, no one would have thought of the internet. I'm gonna go heal just in case. No one would have thought the internet would be such a gigantic thing. Uh, if, like, someone said, the internet's gonna be a huge thing, like, 20 years ago, because, like, you know, why would it be? No one, it, it didn't have a reason to be a big thing. But it's like, it went from the radio, to the television, to the internet. Now, will there ever be anything else? I mean, I can't think of any upgrade to that, but maybe, like, you know, some genius out there is already working on the next big thing that will surpass the internet. I don't know, that's weird to me, like... Will there ever be anything up? Like, virtual reality? That's really the only thing I can imagine. Like, the o Oculus Rift, that's pretty neat. That's not, like, as cool. Well, I mean, it it's pretty awesome, let's face it. But, I mean, there's there's a, a whole bunch of, like, upgrades that can be made to the Oculus Rift. I saw a video a little while ago of a guy playing Call of Duty on a 360, not like an Xbox 360, but, like, a 360 televisions going all around him. I don't think that television is actually bended. I think it just had a whole bunch of gigantic screen projector screens around him. And like, whenever he was shot, um, wherever he was getting shot from, a paintball gun would also shoot him. And like, this guy was actually in the army. Oh, we finally we made it to the boss guy. Hello, boss guy. Grunt! I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Fwa! And like, it was really cool because they're, um, Surrounding this guy, besides the TV 360, we're also like, uh, escalate. Would you call it an escalator? Um, Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Lee is also, um, he's relevant to Bruce Lee, which I thought was really cool. There were escalators, but they were flat. What are the? Are those still called escalators? I think so. Whenever he would walk forward, the escalator would push him back. So it's like you're walking, but you're not walking, and that's how you would actually walk in the game. And like you turn your head to move your body, and like you would actually have to walk. And I thought that was really cool. Like, I don't think that would be the next big thing, and I, well, no, I was gonna say, he was wearing a virtual reality helmet too, but no, that wouldn't make sense, because there's TVs all around him. Um, a, a boosted, wait, a boosted 819? Experience points? I missed what that said. I only got a thousand experience for that early Hitmonchad, and like, oh crap, I forgot to switch to freaking Mr. Mime again. Um, just like... Hitmon Lee is relevant to uh, Bruce Lee. Hitmon Chan is relevant to uh, Jackie Chan, which I thought was really cool. This is a nice, cool nod to them. Um, let's bite him. Um, nom, 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 nom. Comet punch. Yeah, you suck, sir. Yeah. You'd think these guys would put up a bit of a fight, but nope. There we go. Girl School level 38. Yeah, he's almost level 40. Ha! Ha! Beaten! I beat them. Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prize fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. So yeah, this is a gym, but this is different from the other gyms. You don't get a badge for beating it. You gotta choose a Pokemon. Uh, what's this? Whoa. Hitmonchan. Uh, I guess I'll take him. I don't know. You want the piston punching Hitmonchan? I wanna see what this guy says, actually. That's Hitmon Lee kicking. You want that hard kicking, Hitmon Lee? Well, piston punching sounds a lot cooler. So we're gonna take you. And of course, yay, we got him. And of course, we're gonna name him. Now, uh, 
Jackie! Where's K? There we go. K. I. E! There we go, Jackie. Alrighty. There we go. Now, what happens when we. Oh, this one just stays here. Better not get greedy. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm glad I looked at him, so at least got him on Pokedex. Stay and train up karate with us. Nope. Not happening. I'm way too lazy for that. Anyways, I guess that's gonna be the episode. Next episode, we'll take on the gym. Then we'll fly back to. Fashina City, since we can do that now, apparently. And then we'll go south of there, since there is the next path we could actually go on is south of it. So, if you guys enjoyed, please feel free to like, subscribe, already. My name's Chris, and the next episode, we'll take on Saffron Gym. There is so much to do in this town, seriously. It's massive, and even though most of the doors to the houses are non existent for some reason, there's still a lot to do. But okay, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Uh.